What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to teach you how to set up your Line 8 8 channel line and microphone mixer. This is perfect for adding microphone and line channel inputs for recording setups, live performances and much more. So as you can see you'll get the mixer itself along with a power supply. Now on top of using the power supply, the Line 8 can also be powered by a 9 volt battery using the compartment here on the bottom of the mixer. Now the Line 8 is perfect for adding additional line or microphone inputs inputs to a system that might not have a lot of those inputs like a powered speaker. So let me show you how we would set that up next. All right, so here I have my powered speaker that I'm going to connect my Line 8 mixer into. Now since I'm planning to use a microphone with this setup, I'm going to want to switch my channels to mic mode using these switches here. We'll also want to set the mixer to mono mode here. Now mono mode allows us to use all eight inputs from channels A and B for microphone or line level signals. So everything coming out of outputs A and B will be exactly the same. Now on the other hand, in stereo mode, the A and B inputs that would be used individually in mono mode become stereo inputs. That gives us four channels to use for stereo instruments like keyboards or synthesizers. This mode will also allow the outputs to come out as two separate signals so that everything coming into the channel A inputs will come out of the channel A output and everything coming into the channel B inputs will come out of the channel B output. From here you'll have two separate outputs that you can send to two separate channels on your mixer or interface for a full stereo effect. So basically if you want to use all eight inputs you'll set it to mono mode and if you want to have four stereo inputs you'll set it to stereo mode. So for this setup I'm going to keep it in mono mode and I'm going to connect my microphone to one of our eight inputs. To do that, I'm going to need my microphone and a female XLR to quarter inch cable. I'm going to take the female XLR end and plug that into my microphone. Then I'm going to take the other end and plug it into one of our inputs. Today I'll use input one on channel A. So now to connect the line mixer to our speaker, I'm going to need a quarter inch cable. Now since both outputs are coming out in mono, I'll just take one end and plug it into one of our outputs. Today I'll use output A. Then I'll take the other end and plug it into our quarter inch input on the back of our speaker. So now I can go ahead and turn on our mixer mixer and then I'll turn on our speaker. Then I'll want to raise our channel 1A input knob here. We'll want to be sure to raise our channel A knob as well. So next I want to raise the volume on our speaker. So now if I go ahead and turn on my microphone, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speaker. Now because our speaker only has one microphone input, the Line 8 is perfect for adding more microphone inputs for small performances, karaoke setups, or even conference events. And the cool thing is, because we're in mono mode, we can use output B and send that signal to another powered speaker for a bigger setup. We can also use the Line 8 mixer with a powered mixer to expand our setup even further. So let me show you how we would set that up next. All right, so here I have my powered mixer and my two passive speakers that I'm going to connect my Line 8 into. Just like in our last setup, we'll set the line mixer to mono mode in case we want to use all eight inputs. Then I'm going to connect my microphone into the same input that we used last time. So to connect my Line 8 to our mixer, I'm going to use a quarter inch to XLR cable because we're using the microphone input on our mixer. I'll take the quarter inch end and plug it into output A on our Line 8 mixer. Then I'll take the other end and plug that into a channel on our powered mixer. Today I'll use channel one. So now I'll go ahead and turn on my mixer. Then on the channel we're using, I'm gonna raise the gain knob and our volume fader. Now to hear everything coming out of our speakers, I'm gonna raise the main left and right faders here. Next I'm gonna raise the input one volume knob on channel A of our line eight. Next I'm gonna wanna be sure our channel A knob is raised here. Since we're using microphones, we're gonna wanna make sure that the mic line switch is turned up to mic. So if I go ahead and turn on my microphone, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of both speakers. Now as you can see, we have more inputs available and we're only using one for our setup. However, this would be a great setup to consolidate the amount of inputs we're using on our front of house mixer if we're at a show and send the signal out from one of our outputs to only one channel on our mixer so that we can save room for everything else on the front of house mixer. So like I mentioned before, we can set the line A to stereo mode so that we can use both the channel a and B inputs for stereo instruments like a keyboard or synth. Let me show you how to do that next. All right, so here I have my keyboard that I'm going to connect to my Line 8 that I'm then going to connect to my mixer. To connect my keyboard to the Line 8, I'm going to need two quarter inch cables. I'm going to take two ends and plug them into the left and right output.
inputs on our keyboard. Then I'm gonna take the other ends and plug them into input one on both channels A and B. So now I wanna set the line A to stereo mode. And remember, because we're in stereo mode, both outputs A and B will come out as two separate signals. Now, since keyboards or synths come out as line level signals, I'm gonna wanna switch both channels to line mode. And now to connect my line A to our mixer, I'm going to need two quarter inch cables. I'm gonna take two ends and plug them into outputs A and B on our line A. Then I'm gonna take the other ends and plug them into the quarter inch line inputs on our mixer. So now I'm gonna wanna raise the input one volume on both channel A and B. I'll also wanna be sure to raise the channel A and B knobs here on our output section. I'll go ahead and turn on my mixer now. So now I'm gonna wanna raise the gain knobs on both channels one and two. Then I'll raise the volume faders for each channel. And to hear everything coming out of our speakers, I'm gonna wanna raise the main left and right faders here. I'll go ahead and turn on our synth and raise the volume knob here on the top. So now if I go ahead and play my synth, you should be able to hear it coming out of the speakers. Now the Line 8 is also great to use for recording setups if our interface doesn't have enough microphone inputs. So let me show you that setup next. All right, so here I have my interface, my computer with my DAW open, and my Line 8 that I'm gonna use all together. Before we get started, you'll just wanna be sure to go into your sound settings and match the inputs and outputs with the interface you're using. So as you can see here, this is a two-channel interface, but let's say we're in a recording session that needs more than two channels. This is where the Line 8 comes in handy because it gives us more microphone inputs to work. So for this setup, when we're just using the microphones, we'll wanna have the line mixer set to mono mode. And remember that the two outputs on the back of the line eight send similar signals. So now let's go ahead and turn on our line mixer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my quarter inch cable, plug one end into output A on the back of the line eight. Then I'll take the other end and plug it into one of our channels on the interface. Today I'll use channel one. So now I'm gonna connect my microphone into input one on channel A on the line mixer. Now I can go ahead and raise the volume knob for that microphone. Then I'll wanna make sure that the channel A knob is raised as well. And since we're using microphones, I wanna make sure that the channel is set to mic mode. Then we'll raise the gain knob on the channel we're using on our interface. And now if I talk into the mic, you should be seeing the signal coming into our audio track. So now if we turn on our microphone and talk into it for a bit, you'll actually see the audio signal coming into our track. So now all we have to do is press record. Check one, two, this is Perry from Rockville testing out my microphone with the Line 8 mixer. So now the great thing about this setup is that I can add up to seven more microphones to the Line 8 mixer, adjust the levels of each microphone by using the volume knobs, and record it all to one track using my interface, which makes a great podcast setup. We can even set the Line 8 to stereo mode and record up to four synthesizers through one channel. And we can even have one setup where we set channel A to mic mode and channel B to line mode, record vocals and a line instrument at the same time, and record it all to one track. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Line 8 8 channel line and microphone mixer. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.